Question 11. Quite a tricky question, this. So, we're going to sketch this. Um, I'm going to start by thinking of where it cuts the coordinate axes. So, we need to think about, first of all, let's think about when x is, is 0. Okay, what's that going to give us? So, let's say x is 0. That's going to give us uh, um, k. Minus modulus minus v. Okay, so k, and then that's take away 3k effectively. You've got to be pull the bracket, don't you? There, okay, so that's going to be equal minus 2k. So there's one point, right? So that so we've got point zero minus 2k, right? What about when it's going to cross the x-axis. In other words, when is this going to be equal zero? Okay, so let's have a think about that. Now, there's two possibilities. So, let me think about when that's going to be equal zero. So, let's just write down this first of all. Right, now, possibility one is when this is a, a plus. So, that would be minus 2x, and then you would get plus 3x. So that one's minus there. Is that equal to 0? So that would give me uh, minus 2k plus, uh, sorry, minus 2x plus 4k equals 0. So uh, 4k equals 2x divided by 2. So equal to x equals 2x, uh, sorry, x equals 2k, and then there's a possibility where if this were to be a negative, so the best thing to do is just to do it like this, so we're just going to add 2k, so in other words, just like changing the signs really, there we go, and then what do we end up with now? We've got minus 2k, 2x equals 0, so 2x equals 2k, x equals k. All right, so that's where it's going to cut the x-axis. Now we need to find the maximum point of it. Okay, we haven't found that point there. All right, so now the maximum point, we need to think about it's looking at this bit here, the maximum point is when the answer to this will be zero. K take away zero. So I already know the y part, right? So the y part is gonna be gonna be k. So I just need to say so when is this bit here gonna be zero? So 2x minus 3k and when's that gonna be zero? So add 3k to both sides. There we are. And x equals 3 over 2k. So we've got that bit just there. So let's just quickly sketch this, right? So we've got the first part of this question all pretty well wrapped up. But it's it's not home and dry with this question. No. No, I, like to, I like to really think about this question, especially the last bit of the question. Um, so where does it go? Right, so we've got 3 over 2x, uh, sorry, k, so then we've got, so we've got our maximum point, it's up to the, up there, so it's always worth jotting down your points on your diagram. Um, and we just, but you know it's going to be like straight lines, like a little V coming down. We know it's going to go through minus... 2k just there, and we know we've got k, and we know we've got 2k. So, and so look, something, something like that, just there. Right, now what we've got to do, so let's have a look at the next bit of the question. The next bit of the question says, find in terms of k the set of values of x for which our function will be more than x minus k. 
k. Well, if you imagine x minus k kind of going onto this graph, it would it'd sort of be like through there somewhere. Okay, so we need to find these two points just in here. And the way that we're going to do that is again is we're just we're looking at this part just here, and we're going to think of it basically in sort of two parts. Right, we've got part one. So imagine part one. And part one is when this is going to be a positive version. Okay, so I'm going to chop that down there. So let's just quickly go and solve it. So x, and then we can have minus 2x, sorry, k minus 2x, and then it would be plus 3k, and then that's got to be more than x minus k. And then let's uh, let's obviously just tidy this up. What have we got? We've got 4k minus 2x. That's more than x. Right. Sorry about squeezing this on, but just trying to kind of fit it on so you can see it all together. Um, add the k. Add the 2x. Okay. So x has to be less than uh, five thirds of of k. Right. Now I'm going to do the second part, and the second part is when this bit is like the negative version. So it's exactly the same idea. So it's like you can have a, sort of a double negative there. All right? I have a like to write it kind of out in full to begin with, like this. So minus k. Right. So basically, these two things are just going to have the signs changed. So we've got k, and we've got plus 2x, and then we're going to have minus 3k, and then that's got to be more than x minus k. So again, just tidy it all up. What have we got? We've got 2x minus 2k, x minus k, and then if we, uh, what's going to be the best way of doing this? Take away x from both sides. Um, that's going to give us Take that one away there, and add the 3k. And, oh, done something wrong there. What have I just done wrong? Oh, look, there's my mistake. Add 2k. In this case, that's actually... Well, look, I suppose we can all make mistakes there. So, we've got just that there. Now, it does say to write it in set notation. Don't be don't be scared of set notation. Looks kind of a little bit scary. Um, all it means it just means to write them like this. It just says that x is a member of the group. It's got to be more than k. And a little squiggly bracket around it. And it's got to intersection. So it's going to be sort of, so it's like got to be a member of both. And we've also got it has to be, where was the other one? It's got to be x has to be less than 5 thirds k. Right, now the last part of the question. Let's have a look at this. This part here. It said, find in terms of k the coordinates of the minimum point of the graph with this equation just here. So to get the minimum point of the graph, what I want to be able to do is I've got to do 3 take away, right, we've got to get the maximum point here, right, just there. Now, we know from before, right, so earlier on in the question, because we're looking at the function of half x, well, we know that the max of the function of x um, was 3 over 2 that. So the max of half x, I'm going to think about this bit a little bit, it's always back to front, what you think it would be. The y value won't change, right? Okay, so you just need to imagine this one up here, it's going to just kind of get sort of squished, right? Kind of concertinas, right? The concertinas, or it stretches, right? And it's always opposite to what you think it is. Actually, this one is, is kind of gets stretched out. Um, 
So we know that bit just there. And then all we've got to do is just substitute this information into here to get the y part of it. So y would equal 3 minus 5 and the function of half x. Well, I know the answer to that bit is k. Okay. So it's just that. And if I write it as a coordinate, because it does say a coordinate, Right. Now, look, really, I'd have to be honest. I have to think about this bit. Um, so the coordinate will be, so the x bit is 3k. That's what will give us that um, our minimum point. But to get a minimum point, we need a maximum point in here. And then, and then when we sub that in, that gives us the y value of 3 minus 5k. Not an easy question, that. Right? I thought that was quite a tricky one.